The Garmin G3X Touch has been approved for more than 500 aircraft as it continues to grow in popularity. And in this video, we'll go over the specs of the G3X Touch so you have a better sense of what it can do. G3X Touch Basics The G3X Touch was first introduced to general aviation in 2014, and it offers several panel configurations. It includes wireless connectivity and synthetic vision, as well as optional display redundancy, advanced autopilot compatibility, and engine monitoring. The GNX375 Garmin also announced the new GNX375 Color Touchscreen GPS Navigator. It enables localizer performance with vertical guidance and other wide area augmentation system GPS enabled instrument approaches. It comes in a compact 6.25 inch by two inch size that allows easy replacement of many non WAAS legacy GPS navigators. The GNX375 adds an integral transponder that provides automatic dependent surveillance broadcast out as well as dual frequency ADS-B in. Intended for certificated aircraft weighing 6,000 pounds or less and experimental or amateur built aircraft, the GNX375 has STC approval for more than 700 aircraft makes and models. Configuration. The G3X Touch can be configured with a large 10.6 inch display paired with a 7 inch display, providing primary flight display and dedicated multifunction display capability. Dual 7 inch displays can also serve as dedicated PFDs, MFDs, or for a limited space, a single 10.6 inch or 7 inch display can be installed. Multiple displays offer redundancy and reversionary operation as a single display can show all primary flight information, including optional engine information. Other features. Garmin's synthetic vision comes standard on all G3X touch displays and provides a rich 3D depiction of terrain, obstacles, water features, and the runway environment. It can also serve as a standalone VFR navigator with vertical navigation capabilities. This allows pilots to generate a vertical descent profile. Garmin Connect allows wireless flight plan transfer and sharing of traffic, weather, and backup altitude information with a compatible tablet or smartphone. The G3X Touch can serve as an altitude source for Garmin's GFC500 autopilot in place of the G5 electronic flight instrument. Installed with a G3X Touch, the GFC500 provides auto trim, flight director, airspeed climbs, and descents. It also provides dedicated level mode, Garmin electronic stability and protection, and underspeed and overspeed protection. The GFC500 is available as an option for select Beechcraft Bonanza, Cessna 172, 182, or 210, and Grumman AA5 models. It's also available for Mooney M20 and Piper PA28 models with additional certifications underway. The G3X Touch could control up to two comm radios, including the GNC255 NAVCOM and the GTR225 COM, as well as the GTN650 or 750. By adding Garmin's GEA24, it can display primary engine information. Pricing. List asking prices for hardware only for the G3X Touch start at $7,995 for a single 7-inch display and $9,995 for a 10.6-inch display. These include install kit, GPS antenna, AHRS sensor, and magnetometer. These prices will be available in the next update of VREF. The new GNX375 navigators are designed to easily replace earlier generation products such as Garmin's iconic GPS 150 and 155 series, as well as the GX50 and 55 and KLN 89, 90, and 94 series. Aircraft owners can retain many existing flight instruments, audio panels, and legacy CDI EHSI indicators such as the KI-209. Or they can pair the navigator with a new or existing flight display like the G5 or G3X Touch. They are also compatible with the GFC 500 and GFC 600 autopilots and select third-party autopilots. The GNC 375's integrated ADS-B allows pilots to view ADS-B traffic and weather on compatible devices. The GNX 375 are scheduled to be available from Garmin dealers in April, with list asking price of $7,995 for hardware only. These prices will be available in the next update of VREF. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.